Alright, welcome to another playthrough. This time we're playing Our Way Down. It is a small little 2D horror RPG that is apparently uh, inspired by SCPs. And yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Escape is pass, Z is confirmed into act, cancels X movement with the arrow keys, best played in the dark, and perish now. Nah. There's an underpass near your home. Something left from the old world. You've decided not to go into work today. You don't intend on going back. You go for a walk through the underpass in the early morning dark. You always liked the old tunnel. Feels nostalgic, like a second home. Dot dot dot, you feel stunted. You don't understand. You turn around to leave. Dot dot dot. There's no light and the tunnel is getting tighter. You run until... Huh? Huh? That question mark? Oh, I can walk around. Okay, so... Not a lot of color to work here. Oh. Dot dot. Hello. He looks like an elf or something with like the ears, you know. Hi. You the thing that kills me now? Please say no. Um, no? No, definitely not. I was just going for a walk. The lights cut out and now I'm here. The man chuckles. Okay. So I guess we're both in the same boat here. You came here after coming through a narrow tunnel that you found yourself in without warning, right? Y yeah. Well, at least it didn't dump us here alone. It? Do you know what's happening? Sorry if it sounded like I knew what I was talking about. No, I mean it, generally. Whatever this place is or whatever brought us here. Oh. I'm Alagasa. Hector. Nice to meet you. Hey, sorry about the whole thinking you were gonna kill me thing. Your eyes scared me at first. Oh, no problem. So is there a way out through the tunnels? No, I tried already. They just loop through this one path. You can give it a try yourself if you need convincing. Given the circumstances, that's not too hard to believe. So I guess the only other thing here is that door. Have you tried it? Touch the handle. Lost my nerve when I heard whispers from behind it. Figured I'd just sit here. Wait and see if another option's presented itself. But now you're here, so... Guess I gotta do my job. What are you doing? Getting you out of here. There's a way out. It's probably going to be through that door. You can leave whenever you're ready. Thank you. You can thank me if you get... You can thank me if I get you out of here. I'll go first. Okay. So... Dot dot dot. Is there sprinting in this game? It doesn't seem like it. So... Can we go inside of here? What? It's alright. Doors might lead to odd places. Thanks for the warning, but how do you know that? Long story short, my job is dealing with strange things. Like this. Let's keep looking for a way forward. Stay close behind me, okay? Yeah. There's a note on the desk. Hello, if you manage to find yourself here, then you're probably lost and confused. Just sit tight. This note means I'm either asleep or off exploring the lower levels. Help yourself to a can of soup if you're hungry. See you soon, Claire. Okay, waifu? Maiden? Question mark? Hector opens the drawer and appears to thumb through some of the files inside. Huh. He sounds perplexed by something. What's up? Nothing. Just some accounting documents and receipts. Hector closes the drawer firmly. Uh, same here? No. Is there ever gonna change something? No. All the same. There's a red scarf in the trash bin. You look down at the boxes as you pass them by. You remember accidentally giving yourself a nasty cardboard cut at one time. Mm, okay. Same. It's kind of eerie that there is no music. The red scarf <laughs> reminds me of a, sh um, 
of a YouTuber that I watch, uh, Manly Badass Hero, um, his character wears a red scarf. It's a keyhole here. Okay, I'm gonna assume that I need red key. Uh, a, 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 a key, sorry. Why are these just lying around so messy? The floor isn't where the laundry goes. Files containing something that was probably important to someone at some point. Were some employees expected to stay overnight? Dustbin. Hector opens and looks inside the laptop bag. Ah, oh, broken. Employee forms and pay stubs. Why are these just lying around so messy? So, uh, my eyes are scary? Uh, yeah, sorry. And, you know what? Showing is a lot easier than telling you here. Hector pulls his mask down. Uh, oh, Hector puts his mask back on. I, are you okay? Are you ill? <laughs> no, this is normal for us. So you can't imagine my surprise when you showed up and... Hector waves his hand around his eyes. Y yes, yes, I understand. That's wow. Let's get out of here first. We can unpack this later. I, um... I wonder if his face is like a hum like a normal human face. Like, just normal eyes without, like, red... Just, like, eyes with pupils and shit. Let's get out of here first. We can unpack this later. Y yeah, agreed. Locked. There's some dust on it. Aside from bits of crumpled paper, it's largely empty. At least we've got water if we're gonna be here for a while. A couple cans of expired soda. How can soda expire? You weren't so awake from the initial adrenaline rush of being spirited away to this place, you would find this bed cozier. Hector runs his finger along the drawer, picking up a thin layer of dust. Hmm. Right, so everything is kind of dusty, so there hasn't been anyone here for a while. Take the stairwell to the second floor. You take a shaky breath. Stay close, I gotcha. Yes. Okay, um, let's stay on the first floor first. Locked. Is it the same room? It's a thin layer of dust on the drawer. Locked. Was it the same on the other side? No. One of the rooms was open, no? There's no spider. Take the stairwell to the second floor. There's some dust on it. What the? Huh? What's that? Not sure. Keep away from it. Hector pulls a voice recorder from his pocket and switches it on. Agent Hector, still day two. I've continued through the door I mentioned earlier. It leads to a hotel interior. Entered one of the rooms and found some kind of red mass. I don't think we have anything like this on file though. Red flash, yellow sacks, sticks to a wall, odorless, motionless. It. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not moving, but it feels alive. I'll report my findings as I go. Uh, I've got also got a, I've also got a civilian in town. Came here the same way I did. Hi. Peter chuckles a little. We're going to keep looking for our way out. That's, like, the plot twist is probably gonna be like these two become like real friends, and because that other dude is not a normal human, he needs to die or something. Hector switches off the recorder. Dun, dun, dun. This drawer is open. Hector rummages through the door. He finds the key. Can I talk to this? Okay. Red cold cuds, mustard, and some lettuce, all rotten. There's some dust, but there are signs of use on the light switch. Okay, so there was someone here. some dust on it. Is there something else in the empty? I mean, that just means that someone has been here. No? Who's this? The light doesn't come on when you open the fridge, but you can see a rotten banana in the back. Some dust on it. It's a thin layer of dust. Okay, so except for that room with the... 
Is there a way to save? Oh, yeah. Except for that one room where there is, um... There's, like, this meaty red mass and... Oh. Hold up. There's a ton. Looks like... Oh, boy. This is one of our guys. Wait here, I'm gonna check this guy out. You hang back while Hector examines the body. Hector, alright friend, what's your story? No obvious injuries. Alright, let's turn you around. You were looking at the ground when you heard the yelp. It's Hector. Malagasa. What happened? Don't look at their eyes. Sh sure, what? Look at one of these guys' eyes and you lose yours. Do not look at their eyes. Look at one of these guys' eyes and you lose yours. Why? Uh, okay. But when? When did that happen? How? Yeah, I don't understand it either. I I'm sorry. Hey now, I'm not gonna hear you apologize for something that's not your fault. Now give me your shoulder. I'm still blind over here. Of course. Did he lose his eyes then? The airfield's still here. Where are we? Alagasa, you there? Yeah, sorry. It's some hallway. I don't know what this place could be though. Alright, let's keep go let's keep moving. Wait, so did he lose his eyesight? I, f I feel the absence of any type of music is kind of eerie. I'm not sure what purpose this shelf serves or why it's here. Okay. What a weird place. Quack. Eh. Is that a duck? A, a rubber duck? It's quacking like an actual duck? Alright, don't touch it. Yes, thank you. Hector balls one of his hands into a fist and raises it assuringly. How are you holding up? I'm okay. How is uh, your eyes? Still blind. I'm more concerned about you. You sure you're okay with leading the way like this? We're stuck here if I don't, so yeah, I'm fine. Also, I don't want to change this, but you don't seem to be bothered by your eyes being missing. Would you believe me if I told you I'd lost parts before? Huh? I can't, I can't grow parts back, but in this line of work, sometimes damage is reversible. Just hope my luck hasn't run out. I hope so to you. Sheesh. Touch, listen, look, step away. You lean in closer to listen for something. You hear a whisper echo from the, within the way and see through time. You lean over the vase and look into the hole. It's empty. Someone steps into view. You hear a whisper echo from the hole. A shadow will find you. You rest your fingers on the vase. You're certain beyond the shadow of any doubt that this is the smoothest surface you have ever touched. I should save on a different save file. I feel like I... Fucked up. I mean, there was this Claire person that was talked about, right? And she was like, oh, I might be like in the lower surfaces or something. Uh, lower, flo lower floors. Looks that, but no branches or bark has fallen off. Whack. Is that a duck? A rubber duck? Oh, it's like, same thing. Locked. Wait, I feel like... No. I was like, I feel like I've been here before. I think this is a different hallway. Looks sturdy. This plant appears dead, but it stands as though it were healthy. Locked. It is... Oh, there's an open door. Are, is this leading down or up? I wonder. Hey, keep hanging on to me. There's drop-offs on all sides. What if I do drop off though? I feel like they're gonna become like best friends and then they like he betrays us or something. Good evening. Hello? Yes, I'm over here. 
behind the... No, you're not mishearing. That voice is indeed coming from the statue. What's going on? Talking statue. Um, I'm Alagasa, uh, Alagasa, and this is Hector. Alagasa, Hector, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Marcus. I imagine you are both looking to leave this place, correct? Y yes, please. Indeed. It will be the door to my ride, but there is a tr tall toll. Shoot, here it comes. What's the price? A hole in the door is big enough to fit one's hand in. Forgive me, I couldn't find... Couldn't think of a way to ease you into that. Alright, Alagasa, can you help me to the door? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, everyone, stop. Let's just slow down a sec before we start dismembering ourselves. I'm here. I'm gonna set you down with my friend. I'll head back and see if I can find something that can get us through the door. I suppose no one has ever tried to demolish the door. Perhaps it could work. Yeah, there you go. And you wait here, no goofy business. Hold on, maybe I should come with you. And do what? No, you stay here. It will be faster if I go alone. Alright. There's no pain, don't worry. I cannot move, but should something dangerous approach, I will warn your companion to hide behind, hide behind me. Oh, wait, so what's the question? You are right, oh, okay. Uh, just a type, okay. Hello, want to come with us? Thank you for the offer, but this is my home. I wish you remain. Also, unless you have a big truck, you can get me out of here anyway. Wait, you know what a truck is? Indeed. My occasional visitors bring news with them of the outside world. I see. Is that a pen? Yes, a gift from someone passing by. Her name was Claire. Did she get through the door? No, she turned back. Said she would try to find another way. I did not discourage it. I see. Okay, so Claire was here. I just... Um, I fear that if... If I, um... Go back, I will not be able to find back here. Alright, so this is the door with the dead trees. And like a hammer. Oh shit, what's that? A dark root. Dot dot dot. Dark root. Okay, maybe we'll find Claire. Locked. Dark root. What if I talk to the duck now? I don't suppose you know the way to get through that door? The rubber duck's head slowly shifts to look at you. Stretch hammer. Rubber duck. You jump a little. Thank you, sir. Rubber duck. You're welcome. Oh. You pick up the sledgehammer. I need to ask Hector for help, but I'm gonna need him to be swinging this. Oof. That duck came in clutch. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> All right, Hector, let's get through this. Hey, got a sludge hammer. That might work. Great, what's the door made of? Some kind of stone by the looks of it. All right, help me to that door and guide my swings. I'll tear it down myself. You guide Hector to the door and direct him where to swing. You both take turns swinging, mostly Hector. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Huff, huff. Pass it here. I'll go next. Thanks, Alagasa, really, but... Stop, just pass it here. Been at this for 30 minutes. Haven't dented the thing. And you need to conserve your strength. Come on, just give me the hammer. I appreciate the effort, really. I've got a morphine needle in my pocket. Gonna need you to stick it in my arm right at the here. He gestures where he'll need the needle. Before you can react, Hector, uh, Hector quickly feels around the door and jams his left hand into the hole. You do as he instructs and try your best for his stump. <sighs> okay, hold on to me. Ah, oh, poor Hector. Sorry, not your fault. All 
Alright. Bro, Hector is like gonna give everything. We we in another building? Feels cool in here. Cool? It's not cool in uh, okay, we're setting you down. Yeah, maybe because of the blood loss. Come on, so I'm a bit chilly. It's no big deal. No. Listen to you, you're shivering. I'll look for a way forward. You stay here and rest. I shouldn't let you walk around by yourself. I'll be fine. You're staying here. Done. You even think you're in danger. Come running back, understood? Dot dot dot. Here. Think of it like this. If you die, you're screwed. Okay. 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 Come back if you think something might hurt you. You give Hector a firm pat on the helmet. Oh, hi. Lagasa? Yeah, I'm here. Need a hand? Just starts to stand up. No, oh, no, I'm joking. Sit. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, wait. Alagasa is a girl. I actually thought she was a dude. Huh. Inside the folder appears to be some kind of employee record, record form. All the fields are blank. I press the power button, but the computer doesn't turn on. There's not much in the cabinets. Papers and some file stack. Okay. Empty. The lights in this part of the building are out. You feel a weight lifted from you. You feel something return. Oh no. Is this the same way here? Take the stairwell to the second floor. Take the stairwell to the first floor. Not now. So there is bathrooms. Empty. You don't want to break the silence by turning the automatic hand dryer on. The thought of doing so and covering the sound of an approaching predator frightens you. Hmm. There does seem to be something scary over there. No bill slot, and the coin slot is just painted on. Weird. Okay. Fridge contains long-lasting foods wrapped in foil. I never realized how much fear numbs hunger. Never imagined this would be me. I'll get a drink later. You press your finger down on the toaster, but it snaps back up. The inside of the microwaves appears to be slightly deeper than you expected. You decide to wash your hands. You're not sure where that sludge hammer has been. True. Empty. I would assume that that red place is... Oh, what? Something is written on the uh, whiteboard. We protect the people, not the monsters. Okay. What if the people are the monsters? You click around a bit and find a journal. Um... 20th November 2000XX. Funny, we never, never really accounted for what ha would happen if multiple big anomalies went off at the same time. It seems so obvious now. But whatever happened seems to have sent the entire facility to some whack dimension. All the windows show nothing but blackness and the front door leads to a staircase instead of the front parking lot. Only myself, Carlos, and Annette seem to be present here. Between the three of us, provisions should last for a couple of years. We'll rest today. We can start thinking of a way out of this tomorrow, Bradford. There's not much in the cabinets. Not much in the cabinets. So, maybe this used to be a facility of, like, Hector's organization. Off. Empty. You skim briefly, you see... Oh, I... You skim one of the papers briefly, it's some kind of document with odd terminology. You see bolded words like containment protocol and threat level 2. The room feels a little more quiet and a little more still. Okay, so this is like an SCP containment facility. We did some SCP readings before um, on stream, but not like in detail. Oh, wait, there's a second floor as well. Let's check the second floor then. That door is probably some micro place. Locked. You 
check the monitor a writing app opens by itself the message types itself onto the screen do you want to a look at the possible future yes an image appears on the monitor care for another look what is that is that like a demon or something a demon army okay taking having taken a look at the things i don't know if it changes the fate of the game there's a faint glow from inside the drawer. You look inside. Your ears weren't mistaken. There's a soft muttering coming from the candle. You listen closely. Candle. Listening closely. Focusing all her attention on this one spot. See the concern now becomes... Is something else happening while she's looking in this drawer? You cl quickly look up from the drawer. You decide not to listen. No, there's not much in these cabinets. Okay. Smooth cabinets. Okay, let me assume there's nothing in these. Okay. I hope Hector is not dying while we're doing all these. You pick one of the books from the shelves. The cover is completely blank. What? As that word leaves your mouth, the word what appears on the black club, uh, cover. You panic, sucking in air through your teeth and pushing the book back onto the shelf. You search the desk drawer and find a note. The door to the teleporter room is 1397. Door to the teleporter room is 1397. We need to keep secrets here at the moment. Bradford, wait, is this for real? Goodness, this could be our way out. Gotta get Hector, we are out of here. You search the desk drawer and find a note. 1397. Books on management, economics, and engineering. Okay, this would be the door with the 1397. Elevators out, but we're still gonna check out the other rooms, no? Click around a bit and find a journal. 26th of uh, November 2000XX. Carlos and Annette are gone. We just found that this facility had a teleporter in it. Carlos cracked the password. Annette and I looked for a way, uh, looked away for a moment when we heard a knock at the door. We looked back and Carlos was gone. Annette went screw it and ran for the teleporter. Had insufficient power, but she tried to get herself out anyway. I tried to stop her. Even with low power, the teleporter will still try to get you out. Power was insufficient, so uh, though, so only some of her got sent. Spent hours cleaning her up. Oh, shit. Went to go turn on the backup generators, but something is down there. Lashed out when I got close. Not really sure what to do. Guess I'll just leave that side of the building to whatever that thing is until I find a way past it, Bradford. All right, so I guess we need to find a way to like turn on the generators. Oh, poor Annette. That actually sounds gruesome. Click around and find a journal. 24th of uh, 11, 2000XX. Power just went out on the bottom floor, right wing. I need to get to that generator, but I can't do it with the lights out. Gotta figure something out. It's knocking at the door again as I write this. It was brief before. Maybe it will leave if I don't answer it. Going to be trying waiting. Been sat here for two hours. It's just pacing outside the door. No food or water in this room. I'll just have to starve if I sit here. So I guess I'm running for it. At least that way I have a chance. Okay. So there's something not so nice here, I guess. Peek into the open drawer, it doesn't ha seem to have a visible bottom. What the fuck was that? I do not like the sound of that. Uh, 23rd of 11, 2000XX. Woke up this morning and realized I never did find out who nook knocked at the door. Was so scared of that thing outside the generator room i forgot about the uh the one who knocked gotta figure out a way to get by that thing near the generator room okay i would assume that like a way to get like the lights is the candle that we found can we not take the candle with us decide not to listen yeah i don't want to listen i want to take the candle with me bro Locked. I can't 
Okay, so we have to go on that right side. Do we have to talk to Hector first? Place your hand on Hector's shoulders. Hey, it's me. It's going to sound a little strange, but I think I found a teleporter. The past two days have been strange for me. I believe it. Let's go. You help Hector to his feet. All right, but I need to go through the right hallway first, no? Wait, where was the teleporter room again? I need to get him away from these things. Locked. Uh, let me save really quick. There like this generator thing somewhere. What am I doing? This isn't the way to the teleporter. Yeah, but I need to turn on the generator. The terminal says generator on standby. Empty. Shouldn't these be bigger? How do I change the generators from standby into So. Or do I have to leave, lead him to the teleporter and then turn on the generator? I, I have the feeling I'm going to kill him. I'm, I, I I have the feeling that I fucked up. Maybe I should have turned on the, elevate, uh, the generators first and then went to the teleporter. I like went to Hector and get him for the teleporter. One... Three, nine, seven. Okay, I'm just gonna set you down here. Hey, you said there was a teleporter. You're right. Yeah, according to some notes and password I found. Are there any emblems on the door here? Uh, actually, yes. It's three lines pointing up that spread out towards the top. Black and red colors? Yeah, that's right. Oh my godness. I think we're actually gonna make it, Olagasa. This is one of my employer's offices. Long story short, yes, we have teleporters. Sweet Mama Jamba, we're out of here. Great, how does it work? Right, there should be a computer nearby that serves as the console. I should be able to walk you through the setup from memory. Insufficient power. Yeah, some red flashing sign says teleporter has insufficient power. Okay, no problem. There should be some kind of backup generator in the facility, probably on the ground floor. Okay, just gonna run down, turn it on, run back, and we're out of here. Please be careful, huh? Okay, so this uh, teleporter room. You go on ahead, I'll be fine. Feeling a little better even. You know, maybe even better enough to... No! I understand everything, but Hector walked you through enough. So we go down now, and there's gonna be a monster. Question mark? I know where the generator is by now. I love how the game just doesn't let me do the generator part first. Probably because there's gonna be like a jump scare or something. Possibly. Probably. Maybe. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You quickly figure out it's the big green activate generator spot. Okay, now just get back. You hear a faint familiar voice echoing through the vent. Alagasa, is that you? You stand up on your toes and try to pull yourself up the wall. Hector, that's not me! No, no, we're almost out of here. Just hang on, Hector, I'm coming. Oh no, Hector. Oh no. Oh no. Hector. Hector. Oh no. Oh no. Hector. Oh, he's still here. Hector, it's me. Are you okay? I'm good. But something ran off when I started hearing your footsteps. So there is something here. The balls, probably. Is there a generator running? Yes. Perfect. Hey, can you give me a hand? Yeah, come on. 
You help Hector to his feet. Just get on the pad, push the button, and you're out. You don't understand everything but how. Victor. Go on. Hector pushes his voice recorder into your hands. This teleporter will take you to my people. Play that for them when you get there. It will let them know you're safe and mean no harm. There's a bit of delay between when people arrive. I'm right behind you. Okay, wait. What about you? How are you going to be able to use this without me? Victor places his hand on top of yours and lays it on the button. The bad button. Even a blind guy can find it. Now go on, you first. But there's a red line. What's that mean? It's an abort sequence. Don't touch it. Go on. I'd like to get out of here now, please. I'm right behind you. Press your par palm firmly onto the button. Oh, God, so dark. That's a button over there. The door slides open. Hello? I'm, uh, I'm not dangerous. You step out of the dark room, through what looks like some kind of office and into a hallway. Hello? You hear faint chirping through the door up ahead. You have definitely escaped. I'm too eager to go back the way I came. What? Is this supposed to be a barricade? Locked. Yeah, sure. This is where bookcases go. Are you sure you want to go outside? No. Are you sure you want to go outside? No. Are you sure you want to go outside? No. I have to go outside. You push open the door and step outside. A small parking lot, green fields, a road leading to a town, and fresh air. You pull Hector's recorder from your pocket and push play. Agent Hector reporting. 1296-015. The girl holding the quarter is Alagasa. She's not hostile. I repeat, she's not hostile. Alagasa, this next part is for you. Uh, if you're hearing this, then sorry. I'm not going to be following you. I'm also sorry for not saying anything. Couldn't risk you not getting yourself out of there. You seem that nice. You might botch your chance just to help me, so off you go. If there's not enough power to get us out, then the backup generators will barely be able to send one of us. Oh, in command, I'm not giving up over here. Extraction would be good if you can swing it. Please hurry, though. I'm down two eyes and a hand. Alright, this is probably going to be the last thing I record. Battery is running low and Alagos should be back from the generator room soon. Please, send her home safe. Da, 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 no. You wait for hours, no one shows up. In fact, you begin to notice how quiet it is. Aside from the wind, birds and crickets, there's nothing else. No sounds or traffic outside or people. And... You no longer... Feel... Stunted. Da, da, da. Ooh. The fuck? Welcome to the post-game content room. Drop a save here if you'd like to see the credits as well as do some other goodies. Oh no, what was that kind of plot twist? Uh, unused Alagasa portrait. It's a slight difference, but the smile on this portrait was too big given the events of the story. A lighter smile was needed. Uh, here's the new smile that ended up getting used for comparison. Oh, okay, that's fair. Deleted scene, too harrying too soon. This was originally going to be how the eye loss part was going to begin. It was originally much more harrowing, but it was reworked and this image got cut in the rework. It was too early for something too dramatic. I mean, still. Deleted scene. Oh, look, others. The original ending was going to have you actually find people when you teleported away. This was reworked for lore reasons. Much happier with the ending I settled on. This game's first image. The fuck? Uh, Our Way Down was originally going to be very different. The original story was going to start with Alagasa driving home after work, passing through a tunnel, and finding herself transported to a far more massive plateau, where she and a few others would try to escape. Oh, and this was Alagasa's earliest design. This was before she, the game, or any of the characters had names. Find her look, then scrapped the look and went for a mostly white color scheme. Not much symbolism other than color white being associated with purity and innocence. More adjustments, looking closer to her current irritation. Digital version drawn with a drawing tablet, but something's off. Unbroaden the shoulders a bit, adjust the hair, touch up the face, and there she is. 
In this previous version of Our Way Down, there were going to be around 10, 12 characters. This cat was one of them. No talking lines, just a weird looking cat who followed you as you progress. This version of Our Way Down was scrapped due to the sheer scope of the project. It would have been longer than Ara and the Empty Universe, and I wanted to make a free game, so back to the drawing board and scaled down the project. A few rewrites and iterations later, I landed on the game you are now playing. And I'm honestly quite happy with this version. I'm kind of sad though. Like, why did Hector have to die? Some more scrapped characters. The Fisherman. Contrary to his name, he did no fishing. The plateau was surrounded by dead oceans, so he tried tilling the barren land for what little could be gained. The Doctors. They don't heal per se, rather they replace broken damaged parts. Under their care, you will likely survive, but you might not look human by the end of the treatment. This was supposed to be a whole different ass game. Harold, hello my lady, let us go on an adventure full of action, suspense, comedy and romance. We will do battle with the great darkness and stand for what is right. Shut up, stop talking, I hate you, you reached my life. Wow, loser. My parents died when I was a little boy, so I studied the blade and swore epic vengeance on the black king of darkness. I will restore light to the land. You're a cock, no one likes you. Sheesh. Uh, hey, he may have a body, but let's be real, I know I have a heart gonna punch you in the throat trash wait i know how to make this story better let's begin with a 10 minute sequence of saying really vague things to at the audience if it sounds deep then it is deep something like on the fifth day of the darkest eve the red fowl descended on black wings of night but did kalamaya stand firm on the hills of Chok chokata nay for the fallen was slain man that's so deep i need to write that down the audience will be so surprised when we name drop multiple characters cities and MacGuffins within the first five minutes with zero explanations after all we must assume they followed my epic webcomic prequel <laughs> oh no oh no this is taking a shit on like square enix no you sock harold square in the jaw he's not moving Sound effects come from free sound power. Knock sound footsteps. Oh, okay, these are credits. Plug ins. Engine, RPG Maker, Programming Help, Year 5D, RPG Maker, MZ Dev on Reddit had this one small problem that he helped me fix. While small, it made a big difference in the game's presentation. Hey, why'd you spell the site name wrong? Same reason I refused to write YouTube correctly. YouTube is set of wrong standard. Uh, set of boring standard, I don't want to test it. Sheesh. Uh, YouTuber cameo, Dan Giesling. In fact, this vending machine almost didn't make it into the game. But why did it make it into the game? Like, for what? Uh, the candle, YouTuber cameo, the librarian. Oh, I think I saw it. He plays a lot of like 2D horror RPGs. What's up? Are you Hector? Same uniform, but you got the wrong guy. Besides, this is the post game room. This isn't canon. Oh, yeah. Want you hear something really scary? Go for it. Oh my god, that actually scared me. Why? Wow, I feel nostalgia, foreboding, and frustration. I don't like it. Most of us don't. How many people do you think are gonna get that reference? Do you mean. Do we even want them to get it? I mean, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, but as long as you don't unironically use the song. Yeah, that's fair. I I don't get the reference. Got down. Is it like, I don't know, Dragon Age or something? Ah, God damn it. Okay, if someone is in the comments, please type down what this reference is. Hey, what's good? Who are you? I'm the host. Hey, what's good? What are you? You're funny. Hey, what's good? I'm the host. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Entertain. Can you explain further? Do you... <laughs> Is this canon? Of course not, you gooba. Next page. Are you canon? As character? Yes. As for this conversation? No. Okay. Is this Claire, maybe? Eek. <laughs> What the fuck? Will there be more games? Yup. What you working on? Getting ready for my next show. Got an interview with Fearless Leader. Fearless Leader? Uh huh. Well, this says basically nothing. Okay. Okay, I guess that's it with this room. Um, I think this is like the end of this little game.
Well, and there you have it. Um, this is the game Our Way Down, a small little game for free on Steam. I really enjoyed the story. It was short, but still captivating. And um, yeah, I'm kind of sad Hector didn't make it. I don't really know what to make of the ending. Like, why was there like barricades? Um, why was it so quiet? Was like, were you teleported to just a different area and not like to Earth? Because I, I feel like Hector was a human. Right, and Alagasa is like someone from a different world. Also, what does it mean that Alagasa in the end had like, I don't know, five eyes or something? Um, maybe we'll find out someday, maybe we won't. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this little game. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video.